This is the center of the search for 13-year-old Suede Bird and Ground as tips continue to come in on the daily for this young Gary Owen girl missing now since October 7th. Everything here at the Incident Command Center meticulously outlined as crews continue to investigate. All right, is it by that old homestead? As soon as leads come in, this search and rescue team comprised of multiple agencies and volunteers clears them and moves on. A process of elimination tracked via paper whiteboards, printed maps, and a passionate team. Sway, please come home. Let your parents know that you're safe. We'd like to have you home. Your family loves you. They want you home. Jack Oldhorn leads the search and rescue team with the limited resources he's afforded, but on this day, a black hawk circles the sky, combing the Crow Reservation for any sign of suede. We've had air searches, we've had drone searches, we've had horseback searches. Even canine and canoe teams have led to zero indication of where suede is, but this community won't give up on the girl with autism who disappeared from her bedroom on a fall Sunday night leaving behind her phone, her important headphones, and a family that loves her dearly. My name's Wade, I'm Swade's father, and we've been working real hard. <sighs> Some leads, according to family, like her phone, handed off to the FBI for agents to recover recently cleared text messages and phone calls, as well as investigate one additional phone that may be the last person on record Swade spoke with before vanishing. Today, we are going to continue our search on this side of the highway. Montana's highways are sprinkled with missing and murdered indigenous people billboards as families face the reality that their loved one is one of 194 missing persons statewide, 55 of those indigenous. A disproportionate percentage of the missing population. You never think that this type of thing will happen to you. These are things you uh listen to on podcasts and things you can watch on TV. In Gary Owen, Diane Parker, MTN News.